Uh, this happens all the time. This one person in Santa Ana, California, got 300,000 documents l- relating to high-end government projects back to China. Why were they after it? You go, well, what are they after that for when they have all this other stuff? That's the lieutenant world. See, there's a general world, and I mean by that like generals that run military, the general. They report to these other leaders, the New World Order, the Illuminati, whatever you want to call them. Masons is just one little cog, guys. And uh, then these lieutenants that report to them are going about their little duties of trying to get things done for them. It gets real complicated, but the mind is the center of our awareness. It's the center of our thoughts, our feelings, our attention, and most importantly, it's the center for our volition, our will. We shouldn't have our will violated. But my will stops one inch or a fraction of an inch from your nose. In other words, my will can't override your well-being and the will that you have to stay well, right? So that's not what it's about is invoking an agenda upon this planet, much less at government level. But you know what? We could be having a lot of this trouble without any aliens whatsoever. But when you see a family fighting, a brother and a sister, what brings them together quicker than anything is if you pick on one of them. You know, I was going to go over a lot of the stuff that I know about. That's MK Ultra. Um, it's kind of off topic now that we've kind of taken off. I didn't know how long actually today I was going to be able to to, to be on the air because of the way I'm feeling. But I do want to communicate to you a couple things. There is a journal that I want you to become aware of called Counterterrorism. Can you believe it? A counterterrorism magazine. Actually, it's called the Journal of Counterterrorism and Homeland Security International. Not just here in the States, international. Folks, who came up with this faceless boogeyman? You and I know why. We know who. Just believe it. And know that the entire thing is to manipulate you out of everything you've got against your will and make you sick, to use you as a slave, to, to exploit you in every capacity, and then when you die, turn you into solient grain. You remember the movie, right? The, uh, brought every dead person to a manufacturing plant and made him a wafer, made him into a wafer they fed to the people. Well, in there, in this counterterrorism magazine, there's an article on page 8. Um, this one happens to be of the uh, November 09 one. And it says that used correctly and with careful consideration of any legal restriction social networks can come close to giving us a look inside the very souls of potential terrorists. Now, who are the social networks? The knitting clubs? No. You know what they are. We got Facebook. We have Twitter. We have all this stuff that a generation or two younger than myself just blab on about themselves like there's no tomorrow with no common sense about the fact that out there now will be their birth date because it asked for it. Oh, gosh, you might as well give it. 
their name and so forth. And then they are asked to give their friends involved. When Gmail first came out, it wasn't open to the public. A few got invited. And then you were offered five, you were able to give five or six friends, I can't remember, I think it was five friends, a Gmail account. You know why they did that, folks? They were finding out the network. They were trying to establish the network, that six degrees, in order to track you. <clears throat> now, published in Secure World Net, oh, by the way, counterterrorism. Or Secure World Net Limited. Um, there is a list of training institutes for terrorism and response to terrorism. Isn't it interesting? The training sites are all in Israel. Huh. Why can't they be in the States or Canada or Europe? <clears throat> They're going to be covering things like the evolution of terrorist groups and networks, the effects of successful undercover operations, and on the methods of operations. Now, page 21 of their document says, It's been widely regarded and understood in recent times that when it comes to threats posed by terrorism, the biggest threat is from within. That threat is from homegrown terrorists and the cells within, ones that do not necessarily have any ties to a group and is not associated with a group through a shared ideologic ideologies, and that's not the only terrorist. You know what this bull crap is coming from? Remember, we've talked about the bullshit detector, right? Who believes this shit? This has got, you know, this kind of stuff, we've got to get a hold of these people and say, do you believe this? You know, I've sat in these meetings with these FBI people. They think they're God, and they can just run roughshod over everything else. You know why? Because de facto is they got the gun. That's called de facto government. Not de jure, de facto. Like I said, the mind is the center of our volition, and they want in there, don't they? And they're going to try and make suspicion the reason to take your freedom away. We can't allow that to happen. One of the things that I believe uh, is one of the things I should say that I believe is misunderstood is the right of ascension to government leadership through inheritance, meaning the monarchical control. Actually, I'm all for it. As long as it's not an alien. <laughs> At, in the earlier days, it was about the only way those that actually knew in secret societies that they were protecting the governments and the peoples of the land from aliens to keep them out of control. Well, guess what happened? It got infiltrated. And guess what? Now it's not so good way because, gosh, they did get infiltrated. You know, we have these these um, interesting uh, events that have occurred in religious circles uh, like the Catholics with the Crusades and stuff. I don't call that good either. But I'll tell you this, whenever you have the opportunity to have a King Arthur, when they occur, 
but you know you'll 